Hey guys, fishing and stuff. Today, I got 10 new fishing hacks to share with you. So let's get this show on the road. Today, I got 10 new fishing hacks to share with you that'll save you some money and it might even up your game. But normally I do DIYs on this channel. And if you've never seen it before, you should go check out some of my other videos. Cause I got a long list of DIYs that'll help save you some money. And if you like it, click subscribe and click the bell so that YouTube will notify you when I post videos and you can watch them. And if you're interested in fishing and stuff gear, check the description box below and there'll be a link in it. Now let's get the show on the road. Fishing hack number one. Cameras and fishing kind of go hand in hand nowadays. I mean, people like to take pictures of their fish. You may put it on Facebook, Instagram, but even if you're just keeping them for yourself, you may catch a monster that you may never catch again. Sometimes, if you're filming or taking pictures, you get water spots on your camera. Well, I made a video a few years ago of how you could stop water spots from messing up your pictures and your footage. All you do is you take rain necks and you wipe it on your lens. You let it dry to a haze and then you buff it off. And afterwards, you'll be amazed at the difference. Before I put Rain-X on this camera, you stick it under the water and you can see the water spots left when you pull it out of the water. Well, after I put Rain-X on this camera, you can stick it in the water and pull it out and nothing sticks to the lens. So put some Rain-X on your camera lens and save yourself some trouble. And FYI, it also works on your cell phone lens too. Fishing hack number two. Paracore is very, very useful for a lot of different DIY stuff. This hack's all about what section you shop in. But I went to Walmart over to the sports section where the camping and the fishing stuff is, which the Paracore was actually wiped out right after Christmas. But the Paracore cost between seven and almost $10. Then I went over to the hardware section. The same Paracore in the hardware section is about $4 for 50 foot, which is nearly half of what it costs in the camping section. And on the same principle, if you go to the fishing section and look at needle nose pliers, they're between eight and $10 a pair. But if you go over to the hardware section, you can get them for half that price. And everybody loves Plano boxes, you know, fishing storage boxes. Well, the fishing storage boxes are not only higher in the fishing section, but if you go to the craft section, they're kind of cheaper, but there's a bigger selection of them. Heck, even the dang tumblers are cheaper in the hardware section than they are over in the sports section. What is this world coming to? Just saying. Fishing hack number three. And number four. Now this here hack's pretty easy. I had a subscriber send me a message and he asked me if I knew how he could make a rod holder extension. That basically just lifts up your rod holder higher. If you need to add a little bit of length to make it taller, they sell rod holder extensions. Well, after I thought about it, I give him this idea and he said it worked great. All you need for this DIY is a half of a 13 pitch thread piece of threaded rod. This rod's a foot long, so it's 12 inches. Then you're gonna need one of these, and it's called a coupling nut, and it's also half by 13 pitch thread. You can get these at Lowe's or anywhere, and of course you're gonna need a nut for it. All you really need to do is put your coupling on one end. I screw mine halfway through it. Then I screw my rod holder on the other end until those two meet and then lock the two nuts together. Now this was a solution for him. He needed it in a hurry. He didn't have time to wait for one to ship to him and he had a tournament. The threaded rod is $2.80 and the coupling is $3.90 I think it was. So all together you've got about $6 into this, which is about half of the price that one cost you. But if I was going to do this permanently, I would either paint it or you can get some half inch shrink tubing, run it up the threaded rod, and then heat it up and shrink it, and you're protecting it from the weather. Yeah, don't get much easier than that right there. Let's see what she looks like on the boat. Yep, now you got yourself a rod holder with a rod holder extension. We got our extension already. 
So we want to take our cup one back off. After you get your cup one off, I got a half by quarter inch black reducer, which is basically gas pipe. Then I have this fitting that lets you go from metal pipe to PVC pipe. And then finally we got the cap. In this cap, you want to drill a hole in the center. Now that the hole's drilled, we got some quarter 20 nuts and bolts, and we're going to put one in it. Now that we got our quarter 20 nut and bolt in there, We'll glue the cap onto the top. A lot of guys like to do live streams, take pictures, film yourself fishing. This is a cool little camera mount that doesn't cost a lot of money that you can mount right into one of your rod holders while you're on your boat fishing. Hack number five. You ever break your line or lose a lure or a hook and you tie nothing on just to realize you forgot to put it behind the bail? All you need to do is take your spool off by loosening up your drag. Once you get this cap off, then you can take the spool off. When you get your spool off, open up your bell then and put it back on. Once you get it tightened all the way back up, just close your bell and you got it fixed. Fishing hack number six. Now this next hack is pretty simple. They sell these things and they aren't always cheap. You can take an old comfy hat. The reason I say use a comfy hat, if you're gonna be wearing a hat all day, make sure you got one you like wearing. But all you have to do on this one is you drill a hole through the brim of your hat. Make sure you drill the hole towards the back of the brim for balance purposes. You don't want this thing out on the edge here and it trying to fall off your head all day. But after you drill the hole, again, you'll take a quarter 20 bolt and nut put through it and screw it in then you can screw your camera on it and you can wear this thing while you're fishing and you can get some pretty good footage this is a very cheap yet effective fishing hack number seven on this next hack i made a video about this a few years ago but it's still worth mentioning because you take a 95 pound magnet from harbor freight you can take any piece of old felt these are like 15, 20 cent at Walmart, it's just felt. You take a quarter 20 bolt and nut, you put it through the magnet and you tighten it down. Then you set the magnet on your felt, you draw it off and cut it out with some scissors. I take some spray adhesive, spray the magnet, stick the felt to it, and then you can stick it on your car or on your truck while you're going down the road and get some footage pulling your boat and doing things. And you won't scratch your vehicle up because the felt protects the magnet from the paint job. Fishing hack number eight and number nine. All right, this next hack costs 97 cents if you buy it from Walmart. But no matter where you get these clamps, they're really cheap. What we're going to make is an anchor. And they work really good for kayaks. Probably would even work for a boat, actually, as long as the wind ain't blowing hard. See this hole in the end? We're going to drill it and open it up a little bit bigger. Now we're going to take some paracord and run through the hole. You can just tie the paracord to it. Or you can take a needle and thread and you can just sew the paracord to itself. It's a technique I used on the kayak box video I did. Then slide some shrink tubing up on it. Heat it up and it'll clean everything up for you. Now that you got your end attached to your clamp, you just tie the other end to your kayak or your boat. And when you're fishing, if you want to anchor somewhere, if there's a tree branch or a dock or something over here, anything really, you can just clamp it onto it. Now another hack you can do the same exact way, you drill the quarter inch hole in this, just like you did with the other one. Then you take you a quarter 20 bolt nut and you run it through that hole then you can screw your gopro or your phone to it and you can just clamp it on the stuff and film and now you got an easy way to vlog do a live stream do some filming take some pictures it's pretty cool for 97 cents fishing act number 10. this next hack we're going to use paracord on as well we're going to put a float on the end and tie a knot in it. After we get that done, you can take your scissors, see how they have a hole in the end right there, and you can tie them off. You can connect them just like we did on the clamp anchor for the kayak, or you can just tie it on there. But now if we drop our scissors in the water, they'll float. And on my last hack video, we made some corks 
um, out of corks. We talked about how you can buy corks or you can go to Olive Garden and they'll give you the corks that they take out of bottles. They keep them in a bowl and you just ask for them and they'll give them to you. You see where I drilled the hole in my fillet knife? You can use a cork instead of a cork. You know what I'm saying. All of you know what this is. You need some kind of float when you got a boat because if you drop your key in the water, it's gone. All you really need is one of these tiny little screw eyes and of course a wine cork. And there you go. It just may save your day on the water, folks. So there's 10 fishing hacks that'll save you some money. I hope to help you out. And I'll see you on the next build. <laughs>